Hello everyone. In this video, I will be giving my thoughts and a review on Brinda Wana, uh, 2017 Tamil language uh, comedy drama movie starring uh, the comedy superstar, comedy legend Vivek and Arun Nidhi and uh, Tanya Ravichandran in the lead roles. So the story takes place in uh, Uti in a small uh, kind of a hills hillside uh, community village or rather you can call it a hillside town or town or village and uh, it's a small settlement uh, and surrounding is just uh, mountains and mountains and uh, so the hero of the story is uh, Arunidhi he plays a Kannan, a deaf and mute person uh, who works as a hairdresser and uh, he is well loved by all of the people in the village, uh, they he is very helpful to them. He is very uh, polite and very caring towards them, and so they also are very caring and they treat him like uh, as one of it, their own family members. And he is an orphan, uh, living by himself, but he has uh, the whole village to call of uh, kind of uh, call his own family, and uh, we see that he is a. Uh, huge diehard fan of uh, the comedy superstar Vivek uh, so basically in the starting the very first scene we see uh, I believe it's the very first scene we see uh, Vivek running uh, running on the road uh, somewhere in the middle of the middle of uh, Uti and he is covered in mud so the voiceover says uh, why is he uh, this uh, this is a person who is well known and uh, why why is he running? Is he going jogging or is he running away from somebody or is he looking for somebody? So so after that the introduction goes on to uh, Kannan. So Kannan is working as a hairdresser and uh, he has a friend. He has a few friends. One of them is uh, his uh, buddy and uh, friend from who works in the same saloon and. He, so they are both. Uh, they both work together. They crack a lot of jokes and they share a lot of uh, time. They spend a lot of time together, and they also have another friend. Uh, so they are all childhood friends, and uh, the childhood friend is uh, played by Tanya, and uh, she plays Sandhya. So Sandhya is a very bubbly and uh, very bold, very courageous, very uh, playful girl who speaks her mind, and so she has a crush, very big crush on. Uh, or you can call it one-sided love uh, towards uh, Kannan and she keeps on trying to flirt with him and and uh, trying to take their sort of friendship to the next level and into a relationship but he keeps on uh, just uh, keeping her in the friend zone and uh, kind of just uh, keeping her at a distance as, just as another friend and uh, so she'll tease him and he'll kind of uh, just uh, retort back but in a in not a nasty way, but uh, in a kind of uh, just just to keep her at at uh, where she is, and uh, so we see that coincidentally he bumps into the comedy superstar Vivek, who his Vivek's car has a uh, stop in the middle of the road, and coincidentally happens to be passing by, and he helps uh, Vivek uh, to get the car fixed or <coughs> by saying that he has a mechanic friend and he will help to get the car fixed and deliver it to the, to the house and uh, so he does so the next day and they find out that actually there's nothing wrong with the car it just run out of uh, diesel and uh, so they slowly become uh, friends and he the superstar Vivek he confides in uh, in Kandan and his friends why he is actually here so he says that he reveals that he has a childhood friend and while he he, he himself made it big kind of uh, big in the Hollywood uh, Tamil film industry his friend also was a very talented person and he could do a lot of uh, things like writing and uh, he says that this his friend was his own inspiration but his friend ruined his life by drinking and gambling and also he hit his wife once uh, when he snatched the chain from her to 
go and uh, do his gambling of and drinking and she fell down and hit her head and she passed away and so his daughter uh, hit, hated him from then and she did not come to visit him when he went to jail for six years and he came out and his daughter uh, did not come to visit him then either and so now he is in the last stages of uh, his life and he's basically just bedridden and waiting for the end to come and he is very also miserable because he wants to make things uh, make, uh, make peace with his daughter and uh, so far his daughter is just uh, uh, refuses to come and see him and so they decide to help uh, help him and they go and find his daughter in the college where she is uh, studying and they forcibly bring her to the house and uh, although she resists all the way but when she sees her father in that condition she forgets manages to speak a few words with him and forget all of the anger and the hatred and just uh, kind of give him peace and also find peace herself in uh, the relationship with her father between her and her father and so she thanks them and then she leaves and so after that uh, we see that at one point uh, the relationship between or rather the feelings be between uh, that Sandhya has for for Kannan is getting stronger and stronger and also because her father is getting looking for a groom for her and she's starting to worry and so she seriously starts to question and chase after Kannan and he keeps on refusing and he she even gives him a love letter and confesses her feelings but he tears up the letter and throws it in her face and uh, and basically just scolds her and uh, tells her to uh, go away and uh, so she's very shocked and and uh, very hurt by this and she she tells uh, Vivek about this and Vivek decides to help them in the matter and at one point they chase after Kanan who who walks away in a fit of rage he walks away and takes his bike and goes up to a hill uh, on top of a field where there is a grave and the grave is actually the person who started the home so he spent his early years of his life uh, in uh, deaf and in a home for children for deaf and uh, mute children and uh, so they after Vivek finds him, Vivek and uh, his friend find him and they question him and he eventually he breaks and tells them the truth. He says that he had a family when he was a small child but they passed away in an accident and then he, for a while he was living on the streets and one of the people from this uh, village that he is living in now, they brought him to this old age home, or rather, sorry, not old age home, the home for children and uh, they left him, they admitted him in the home for children and uh, so he he actually can speak so that is the big uh, shocker he only lost his, uh, he became mute because of the kind of the shock, the trauma uh, that he went through in the accident so he permanently lost his uh, hearing ability but he he still had his uh, listening, uh, talking ability but he just uh, just temporarily lost it and so while in the home he is very much uh, comfortable and happy in the home but he starts to regain the speech and so he becomes very fearful that he will be kicked out of the home and uh, because he they discover that he can talk so they he thinks they won't give him a place anymore and so he tries to go and tell this to the founder of the home and Unfortunately, the founder of the home passes away when he goes to tell tell this and so he thinks that it is his fault and that because he opened his mouth and talked and he that's why he caused this uh, thing to happen and he decided not to talk again to uh, avoid any more bad things happening. And uh, so, Tanya also, or Tanya or Sandhya rather, she learns about this too. Uh, because 
So the friend, after learning this, the friend got angry and uh, about why he kept the secret for so long when they have been so good friends. And uh, so he, he walks away and uh, the conversation goes between him and uh, Vivek sir and Vivek sir is trying to console him but he is uh, very much emotional and he just says that this is why he did not want to reveal the secret for so long. And so the next day, Kanan goes to his house to find uh, his friend and he he talks to his friend and uh, unbeknownst to him, Sandhya is in the next room and she hears this and she's shocked to learn that he can actually speak all this while and he has just been pretending to be mute and so she's upset and angry by this she slaps him and just walks away and so she in the next scene she talks to Vivek sir and they try to 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 think about what to do next and she's very angry angry and upset at him but at the same time she does love him very much and she wants to be with him but she's upset that he kept this and she's saying that uh, you know, what she loved the most about him was his honesty and now that is uh, shattered too and so but Vivek sir is trying to console her and says that that was his psychological problem he's thinking that you know he will lose people by revealing the secret and so from there from there the next uh, thing is they go and <laughs> they reveal this uh, to to the village and so the villagers are shocked to learn this but <clears throat> they also uh, in initially they are shocked shock and anger they pour their shock and anger out but they eventually come to accept him because he uh, they know that he's a good person he's a good man we he's caring so he did not pretend to be who he was, he just pre pretended that he could not uh, speak all this while because he wanted to you know, maintain the the thing that he had, the kind of affection and all that and so he was only afraid of losing all that and losing the, you know, losing the relationships and the bonds that he had made so they come to, they while well, initially they are shocked but they accept the fact and they are also very happy to know that he can actually speak and so they treat him just the same and following that Sandhya runs away uh, so during this time also the friend of uh, Vivek passes away and they give him they manage to do the the proper rites for him and uh, give him a peaceful send off and uh, so after this soon after <coughs> Ta uh, Sandhya runs away from her home because she <coughs> does not want to get into a marriage that her father is uh, planning for her and so Vivek sir convinces Kanan to go and bring her back to the village and which he does and he brings her back to her own house and he says that he does not want you know to marry her against her father's wishes or and her parents wishes and so that's why he left her there and at the point where he's leaving he realizes that he actually uh, does have uh, feelings for her and love for her but he thinks that the father will not accept this uh, marriage uh, because of his status where he's not very wealthy and also because he's a deaf person and so his father wants his daughter to have a comfortable life and to be marry a person who is uh, well to do and all that so he just uh, walks away sadly and but the father stops him and uh, he takes his ring from his finger and puts it on uh, Kanan's finger so to signify that he accepts him as his uh, son-in-law and so that is the happy ending so it is a very it is a very much a very beautiful movie uh, emotional roller coaster it will bring you through ups and downs and of course there's a lot of comedy f from uh, Vivek sir and the other members of the crew the cast and uh, yeah this movie so I only managed to watch it uh, almost in full yesterday and I was very touched by the movie it is a emotional roller coaster it will touch your emotions uh, it will make you tear up certainly at uh, some of the parts and it will make you smile at uh, some of the parts the comedy and also you know there are some scenes that are very heartwarming and the song there's a song the movie where 
they are kind of uh, just bonding and going out and having fun and that's very heartwarming to the song is a nice song and it's very heartwarming to see the video the visuals too and uh, so the story ends uh, happily and uh, where they have all become good friends and they have good bonds between them and uh, so everything ends uh, happily and leaves the uh, as an audience uh, member it left me feeling very satisfied and very uh, feeling very good having uh, watched a good movie and uh, yeah so I would say that I would give this movie 10 out of 10 just for the content the it uh, it will touch your emotions and it will kind of make you feel good and even inspire you a little bit to to kind of uh, you know be happier and be better that's what I I think I feel uh, after watching this movie it's definitely a feel good film and uh, yeah so Binda Vanam is uh, available for streaming on uh, Disney Plus Hotstar and uh, have you already uh, watched this movie and uh, if you have then do let me know what you think of the movie in the comments below and uh, if you have not watched the movie I recommend that you do give it a watch it will uh, it is worth the spending the time and uh, I bet that you will be feeling good after you have watched the movie so yeah uh, and uh, once you watch the movie do let me know what you think about the movie in the comments below and also if you like this video then give it a like and uh, share the video and also do subscribe to my channel and also thank you for watching and until the next video take care and goodbye